Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien and Bubba on Saturday, October 12th. Oh, this is the day you celebrate for Wrong Way Corrigan, huh? Or otherwise known as Columbus. Whew. Well, you Americans get to celebrate it on Monday. That's when you get a day off or you can't go to the bank and the post office. Ooh, ain't that fun? Well, today we're sitting in for Paul Harvey. So stand by for commentary. Well, Americans, today I wanted to do a commentary as Mr. Paul Harvey would do it if he looked at the way the survey of the land today. I hope Mr. Paul Harvey Jr. agrees with me on this commentary, so here it goes. Well, Americans, today I have to do a sad commentary. And I have to say, I'm ashamed to be an American. And I'll let you know why. Number one, we've lost the purpose of what an American is. Sure, you got three books that you read out there. The Torah, the Bible, and the Koran. And most of you know that inside and out, don't you? You go to church every day almost of the week now. You go to your cinema, uh, synagogues, and you go to your mosque. And you that have the Koran and have the Bible, you carry one all over the place. You guys that go for the Torah, well, you have to tell your rabbi and he'll tell you what to do. But you guys are staunch supporters. I mean, 100% or so, maybe 98%. But no less than 95, most of you. You Americans, especially you Christian, Judeo-Christian Americans, consider yourself either conservative or liberal. And conservative, you mean evangelical conservatives are included in that. All these divisions have caused nothing but alienation. And... You know those books better than you do your own government. When I was a kid, meaning the favorite alien here, and I came to the this planet in 1970, studied your ways of your constitution. It's because I grew up Americanized. And I liked the document. The only problem is, every teacher that I had that did the Constitution, hated to do that subject. They didn't like it. And every student that was there couldn't wait for that bell to ring. I bet you a lot of you Americans were the same way. Because they didn't understand it. Because the teacher was trying to do it, and in that case, in the mid to late 20th century, a new point of view, when, you know, you're looking at an 18th century document. So... You live in a country where you don't know that document, yet you have a book that tells you from another nation what to do. Is that contrary to anything? Really? The Bible is a Middle Eastern text. The Torah is a Middle Eastern text. And the Koran is a Middle Eastern text. And that goes back even before those, those religions were even formed. Most of the ideas that you see in those books go back to the Babylonians and the Sumerians and Sargon, which you don't know anything about because you never bothered to learn about them. But this is what I'm saying, Americans. You know nothing about your system. And yet, when you go for your elections... You let other people tell you what your system is. Isn't that terrible? I think it is. Now you're engaged in a great civil battle here, as President Lincoln would say, testing whether this nation should survive. Will it? No, because I know your history. In fact, you've got less than uh, five years to go. Do you do anything about it? No. Because I haven't seen you over there, like in this case... With President Trump, I haven't seen you demand of your representatives, whether they're senators or congressmen, to check out whether it's constitutional validity towards these allegations that they're putting through the Democrats. 
The only way you can check it out is, like in the Jewish community, the rabbis are the conservators of the Torah. They know what it says, and they interpret what it says. The priests are supposed to be the conservators of the Bible and Catholics. And you reverence, but you have damaged your Bible because you include politics in it. That's terrible. But what I'm saying is all three of those religions have conservators. And in your country, you have conservators of the Constitution, which are supposed to tell you, like the priests and the rabbis and Jewish, what is right and what is wrong. And have you gone to them to say, was this right for the president to do this, based on what our document says? No. So see, Americans, this is why I say I'm ashamed to be an American. This is what Mr. Paul Harvey would probably say. I'm not an American, so I can't say that. But I hope Mr. Paul Harvey, wherever he is listening, today, I'm glad he's not living, but he would probably say, I am ashamed to be an American. The only people that can do something to rectify all the messes here, and you have to do it one step at a time, is you. But I haven't seen you get out of your chairs or your couch or watching The View or any of the other political things or the Connors or whatever is on there, you know, Big Bang Theory. I haven't seen you get out of that couch and television and go out there and tell your representatives, we have to change something here. Something's not right in Denmark. When are you going to do that? So this is your favorite alien and Bubba sitting in for Paul Harvey. And I hope I did a good job on this one. Good day.